I was in Pier 1 last week and I was just struck by these beautiful, elaborate beaded table runners and placemats. They were so gorgeous. I wanted to pick up a couple of these to make a nice table setting for my kitchen table, but they cost close to $20 each. So let me show you how I made my own beaded placemats and table runners that gave me the same look that I wanted without all the time and the expense. These cost me around five to six dollars each to make. For this project I am making four placemats and one long table runner. From the Dollar Tree I picked up four blue round placemats and five oblong shaped violet placemats. Also from Dollar Tree I'm using five packs of assorted blue glass beads, one pack of blue gemstone stickers and about five tubes of super glue fix-all adhesive. From Michaels I found these gorgeous glittery sequin sheets on cardstock that I thought would give me a really nice beaded look. I'll be using two blue sheets, a greenish gold sheet, and a silver. While I was at Michaels, I also picked up a pack of little silver beads and Mod Podge. You want to make sure you get the glossy version for this project. You can also get the beads and the Mod Podge from Walmart. And you're going to need a hot glue gun for this project. Okay, so after examining the placemat that I really love from Pier 1, I can see that it's made up of small teardrop shaped tiles that consist of tiny little blue beads. So I thought the simplest way to recreate the teardrop shaped tiles would be to cut them out of the sequined card sheets. The sequence pattern kind of gives you the illusion of a bunch of tiny little sparkly beads. So I'm going to use these sheets to cut out tiles around the bottom and the center. Instead of using all blue, I'm using a greenish gold because I found these napkin rings at Goodwill that were beaded and I want to incorporate that into my table setting and I'm also using a little silver. So to make my towels, I'm going to stack all the sheets together, turn it over, and I'm going to trace teardrop shapes on the entire back of the sheet. Now this is a project you might want to do with a group or your entire family because it's going to take a little while to draw all the shapes and then cut them out. So what I would do is divide the sheets up into four and have each person do a placemat and these will get done a lot faster. To make things a lot easier, you can also just draw lines and cut out squares or triangles. But I wanna do the teardrop shape, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. So after you've drawn all your shapes, you're ready to cut them out. You're gonna make sure the sheets are all stacked up and I would put a little painter's tape around the edges to keep the sheets in place while you're cutting them. Like I said before, the fastest way to do this is to divide this up into four and hand off a stack to some other people to do the same task. So I'm using the scissors and just carefully cutting around each shape four pieces at a time. So for each cut, I get a gold, a silver, and two blues, and I'm stacking them in piles according to the colors. After all the tiles are cut from the four sheets, I get big piles of tiles that are more than enough for the four placemats and the table runner that I'm making. So I start by positioning the tiles the way I want them on the placemat. I don't, I'm not going to cover the entire mat, but I want tiles at the bottom and in the center. So I'm going to start with mostly blue around the bottom and then I'm going to alternate a little further up with the silver and the gold. In the center I'm placing seven blue pieces to create this floral shape 
just like the one in the pattern of the pure one piece that I like. Now as you can see these pieces that I just put down are pretty flat and they look like paper. I want them to look more like um, jewels, um, something three-dimensional. So to give them some three dimension I am going to use something like a spoon and I'm going to bend the edges of the piece around the edge of the spoon to give it a rounded shape. And as you can see that really helped to give this flat shape some dimension. Do this to each piece and then carefully add hot glue in the center around the edges of the, the piece. Be very careful because the glue is very hot near your fingers. And then carefully turn it over and press down on the top and the bottom and then around the edges without flattening it out too much. Now that I have all my teardrop shapes in place, it's time to start putting down my beads. I'm using blue assorted glass beads and silver beads. Now I'm gonna mix all of these beads together by just pouring them in a container with a funnel. I'm gonna set this aside for now and start with the silver beads. Since beads tend to fall off easily, I'm going to use a stronger glue. I'm using the Fix All Super Glue from Dollar Tree. And I'm putting a drop and then placing the beads right on top of the glue with some tweezers. I'm positioning these um, pieces right underneath the silver and gold teardrop pieces. And I'm adding a row of silver beads in the center of the mat, right above the blue teardrops. And then around the center flower. Next I want to lay down a cluster of blue beads around the bottom edge of the mat. So I'm going to put on a glove for this because I'm going to use my fingers to pat the beads down. So I'm going to add some glue around the bottom edges everywhere I want the beads to be. So I'm going to sort of surround the silver beads and let it um, flow around the pieces. And then I'm just going to grab some beads out of the container and just sprinkle them over the whole area wherever I have the glue. I'm going to do this um, a little at a time and just use my finger to lightly pat the beads down so that they all have contact with the glue. And I'll just keep going around until the whole bottom edge is covered with beads. Now you're going to need some ventilation for this so open a window or put these outside as you finish them because the glue has a strong odor. One little container of glass beads should be enough to cover the edges of one placemat. And this is what my design looks like. Now it's not as elaborate or filled with beads as the one from Pier 1, but the color gives it a little extra interest and it has the same look and feel that I wanted. So I'm really happy with this. One last final step I'm going to do is to seal these glittery pieces. I don't want the glitter to come off in your hand as you touch them. So I'm going to put clear um, glossy Mod Podge over each piece. The Mod Podge will help keep the sequence pieces in place and you want to use glossy Mod Podge rather than the matte because um, the glossy will help keep the sparkly um, clear look of the sequence when it dries. 
Now I'm going to finish four of these and let these sit overnight on the deck to dry. After your placemats are completely dry, you're going to shake them real vigorously and rub your fingers over the beads and shake off any pieces that might be loose that didn't adhere to the glue so that they won't come off on your table. So just go around and shake it and um, back and forth upside down and really rub your fingers through it and, and get all of those loose pieces off. The pieces that did stick to the glue will be strong and hold strong to the placemat. So don't worry about losing too many beads. To go with my placemats, I made a long table runner also by overlapping and gluing uh, five placemats together using hot glue. I measured it on my table to see where to overlap to make it just the right length. I created a simple design for this that matched my placemats and I also added a line of blue gemstones and silver beads down the middle and around the edges. Now I'm ready to set my table. I also added those teardrop shapes to the napkin rings that I found at Goodwill. I really love the way these came out. They're very colorful, fun, and I think really elegant at the same time. Now these will be a really beautiful table setting for my family and friends for the autumn and holiday seasons. Add me on Snapchat and Instagram for daily home food and gardening tips at Your House or Home TV.